Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Southern Middle Belt leaders issue 90 days ultimatum to government to revoke the 1999 constitution. Hello, wonderful people. The Southern Middle Belt leaders are all rising up together as one. If we don't, if we allow disunity, it's going to ruin the whole country. Just as the North needs to rise up as one against insecurity, instead of businessing or talking about other matters that do not really affect or promote the interest of especially the North for over 10 years now, over a decade, well over a decade, the North has been plunged in insecurity that have sent Tens of thousands homeless, yet the government and those in the region has not really addressed the issue. However, Southern Middle Belt leaders are standing up giving Nigerian government a 90 days ultimatum to revoke the 1999 constitution. Leaders from ethnic groups in the Southeast, South, South, Southwest and Middle Belt region have issued the Nigerian government a 90 days ultimatum to raise a panel on sovereign nation conflicts a conference to decide on the revoke revocation of the 1999 constitution or to dissolve the 1914 amalgamation of nigeria hmm. it's happening no everybody is crying that nigeria should be divided the leaders call the 1999 constitution a fraud put together to continuously segregate other nationalities under the Fulani regime. The leaders, according to the statement on Friday, made the decision at a meeting in Lagos under the Alliance of the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. They noted that the 1999 constitution was the cause of the sweeping insecurity and punity in the country. Among the leaders who signed the request were President General Ohanyeze Indigo Chief Mazi Owondo, former Plateau State Governor Jody, Professor Yusuf Tar Taraki, a prominent historian professor, among others. Others were Dr. Kanu Oshodi, Ambassador Igwe, and others as well signed the petition. They demanded that all elements being put on hold so that winners will not be sworn in based on the 1999 constitution, which they said was deformative, being controversial by the clear present danger of examination in the hand of our supposedly petros of the Union of Nigeria, to hereby declare a sovereignty dispute within the Federation of Nigeria as represented by the federal government on account of, uh, of our reputation and rejection of the impose of the 1999 constitution on Nigeria, whose authority, who authority ship was fraudulent imposed on us, the statement reads. Further effective from today, 18th of December, 2020, give level, give a uh, day, Go notice to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Security Council of the United Nations and Government of the United States of America, the European Union, as well as the international community of the intention of the people of the Alliance territories to reconcile our our continuous alliance to the disputed 1999 constitution, as well as the union of death attributed on the backwardness it frowns, it falls on us. A formula announced by the federal government of Nigeria acknowledging the constitution, grievances and sovereignty disputes now declared by the people of the South and the Middle Belt of Nigeria. A former commitment 
by the federal government of Nigeria to the wholesome decadence and the gradual decay of our 1999 constitution, a formal announcement by the federal government of Nigeria sponsoring the further general election under the disputes of the 1999 constitution, a former initiation of a time bomb ticking process to enable the country to be enforced into the Fulanese, ruling them forever. This is which we have discovered have holes and loopholes which we are no longer comfortable or happy with and must be amended now. So the people of the South, South, South East and the Middle Belt are standing up together as one and saying enough is enough. You have done this and you have gotten away with it, but we will not allow it to continue. We have seen the continuous, you know, the all the loopholes, especially in the areas with regards to this constitution, that you have not allowed us to thrive as a people, putting us in subjectivity and under the influence of the Fulanese. The constitution has been read over and over again and we have seen that Nigerian government, there is itches here and there with regards to this uh, constitution and we want it amended. This notice has been given not only to the federal government of the Rep Federal Republic of Nigeria, but also to the United Nations, to the United States of America, to all different government arms that has ties and in relation to the Nigerian government to say it is high time these things be changed. We cannot continue to allow ourselves to be governed and to be ruled. That's why there is serious insecurity in the nation because they know that this thing favored them. So they want to continue in that light and continue to rule us. And we are no longer comfortable. And as such, we are standing up together as one to say enough is enough. So the government the leaders of the people of the Middle Belt, South, South, South East are standing up against the Federal Republic of Nigerian government to say enough is enough. We cannot allow this to continue to happen. The oppression and all that is going on, enough is enough. Look at what is going on in the South, South, for instance. Taking the South, South as an example, you will weep when you go to these areas and see the kind of life, the way they are being deprived. Yet, they, they, it is on their shoulder, their back, that this country the, the finances largely say 80% of the revenue of this country, all the budgetary comes from this region. Yet, if you go there, the impoverishment is unspeakable, is unreal. And you will wonder truly and really if this is the same South South you hear about. You know, if you travel outside this country and they take a, maybe a taxi, say a place like Dubai, they will say, where are you from? If you say Nigeria, say, oh, very rich country. That's what they know. That's what they've heard about us. That's what they've heard about Nigeria. Very rich country. But does it portray what it really is? Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.